Hi, this is Sam, and you're watching Print Pretty and Peachy, and today I'm going to be doing a Rosie the Riveter Halloween tutorial look, and you can kind of see I got my work shirt on and my little bandana, and this is going to be a really quick tutorial on just a few of the key essentials um, you're going to need to kind of reenact this look or recreate this look. Um, yeah, so if you like this look, then keep on watching. Thanks. Okay, so I already did my makeup. And um, I'm not really going to go into a tutorial on this because I think it's kind of self-explanatory and the pictures um, kind of show a little bit. But basically what I did is I actually did quite a bit of um, contouring because she had kind of a different um, face shape than me. I made my nose um, quite a bit thinner. She has very like... Um, define nose and I also gave myself a little bit of a dimpled chin um, and then just the sides and the temples are quite um, uh, contoured in the picture um, besides that I just did kind of a soft um, kind of brown neutral eye it's very heavy near the lash line. She has a lot of lash look and then a very neutral lid. Kind of almost like a little bit of a dirty look. And then um, not like a really true red, but um, a softer red. It's actually coming out a little more orange, like ruddy orange than it is in person. It's a little more corally. But this is Volcanic um, from L'Oreal in 410 on my lips and then I have just a little bit of um, lashes in the corner because she has quite a full lash that I do not and then just to brighten it up a little bit um, a little bit of white liner on the waterline so getting started you basically just want to section off um, your hair part so just section off maybe a two by four inch section of hair kind of set this aside. You can even use a little clip. Might make it easier. And then just taking the rest of your hair back into a ponytail. And then just pinning up the, um, the tail of your ponytail just closer to your head. If you have very short hair you can kind of um, skip this step. And also, a um, kind of um, little tip or suggestion is that if you're doing this for a Halloween look, you can actually do a full set pin curl underneath your um, bandana. And then the next day after Halloween, you'll have like a really nice set of hair when everyone else has like bed head or something like that. Um, but for today, I'm going to do my pin curls at night. So I'm just going to kind of show you. Red bandana like this. It's a square bandana. Folding it into a triangle like this here. I'm going to try it back up for you. Okay, so yeah, folding this into a triangle um, and placing the, like, the long end at the back here and kind of going through your ears holding it down and trying to get that tip to kind of come up just like so and then bringing it over your sectioned off bang pull the bandana triangle <laughs> it's getting a little confusing here but yeah just pull this bandana triangle underneath your knot and that will secure things down and then make your knot. Okay, so once you have your bandana tied, um, just a little bow tucking the corner piece under, you can tuck these um, little bits under, but I kind of like them. <laughs> so I'm going to leave mine um, open. But basically what you want to do now is taking your bang, um, as you can kind of see in the picture, she had kind of like a little swirl here. 
So depending on your hair, um, it's gonna um, vary. If you have like really long hair, then you might want to consider doing like a full um, bumper bang because then you can roll up a long section and have that kind of as your bang. If you have really short hair, you can kind of leave like a little swirl out. And if you have bangs like me, um, you're basically going to um, just take little sections of hair and do kind of little pin curls that are going to stay out. So just roll little pin curls like so and then I'm um, taking some bobby pins to secure them in place so that's one so you're just going to do kind of three little cute pin curls um, on the side here you can kind of adjust them and do your best to kind of hide um, the little bobby pins oh also as an addition to wearing this um, men's shirt I think on my baby Joe they actually have like full um, riveting outfits if you're going for like a very authentic full um, costume um, maybe even your local thrift stores would have something like a men's work jumper or something like that but um yeah that's just another tip so you can kind of see the look here um in the right angle this is the kind of final look um and now you can definitely see why the um shading and contouring i did really helps to add to it um yeah but enough of that <laughs> um this is my rosie the riveter look um part series of my halloween tutorials um, so far, thanks to all your comments, I think I'm going to be doing um, a Frenchie from uh, Greece and maybe a Joan from Mad Men, and I think I'll do the finale uh, a Marilyn look. But um, yeah, so I hope you like this tutorial and stay tuned for more retro Halloween tutorials to come. Thanks. Bye.